Hi everyone and welcome. You're here today with Andy Valkyrie Divine and today is day three of the throat chakra and so we're going to be exploring tools for balance for this particular chakra. Now um, there's uh, some things to be said about this chakra because um, it's actually the first one where uh, we're starting to step out of the four elements and moving even higher up and so sometimes the fifth chakra is actually associated with um, you know, the fifth element, which is supposed to be the container that holds all the other four um, elements within. And so uh, I'm going to address that today too because it's a very important um, concept for really understanding how we can balance this chakra and how important it, uh, how important it is for the other um, chakras below it um, to really be in balance too in order to, to fully express what we have to say. Um, so. Yesterday we talked a little bit about uh, about the deficiencies of this chakra, where we, we kind of feel um, difficulty communicating, speaking our mind, you know, um, speaking up, um, speaking our truth, all these kinds of things. We talked about when the chakra is excessive and how some people just talk and talk and talk and talk, but um, there's really no message in what is being communicated, right? It's just words, but the, the actual message that's supposed to um, back up those words is not really there. And so today we're going to address a, a couple of things that will um, uh, will mediate that a little bit. And so um, I would say that the best way to really start focusing in on the on the throat chakra and, and how it can come to balance is by focusing literally on the two things that it it. Um, it is known to do, right? So we're talking about communication as one, and we're talking about sound. And so those are the two things we really want to focus on. And so when we think of communication, you know, um, again, we want to speak with, with that awareness and with the intention of being heard, right? So the awareness has to be there in order for us to hear others. We have to be attentive listeners to really tune into what someone is telling us. But then, uh, you know, by the same token, we need to have that intention when we speak um, our mind, our feelings, um, you know, that uh, they have to be heard as well and they have to be communicated properly in order for other people to really get the message and take it to heart, right, so, so to speak. Um, now, another thing that is really, really key, I find, when communicating, um, to really make sure that the understanding is there, is to mirror back what the other person is saying. And so, you know, a person could be talking to you, and then you say, okay, so, um, you know, if I understand correctly, this is what you're saying, or this is what you mean. And, and that really, um, you know, as simple as it sounds, there's not many people that do that. Uh, and, and what this does is it really helps to consolidate your understanding of what the other person said. And then by reflecting it back to them, they also understand that you understood it because you're retelling it back to them. So this mirroring technique is kind of like you're paraphrasing what you've been listening to and making sure that you understand and that the other person knows that you understand what they were saying. Um, so that really, really builds a ground for, you know, for open uh, communication and, and good understanding between people. Now, uh, one other thing that I'd like to mention, since this is really the, the seat of, um, you know, uh, of creativity and expressing creativity, uh, you know, my suggestion is to be creative in all the ways that you know how, and even if you don't know how, try it, okay? Um, creativity is really something that, that puts us in touch with our purpose more than anything else, and, um, you know, it's through being creative that we really are able to express ourselves, express who we are, uh, express our passions, our talents, our skills, um, you know, our thoughts, our feelings, all of this comes through creativity and through a full-blown expression of that creative endeavor. And so again, you know, you can uh, go down Zumba, you can sit at home and paint, you can try to write a novel, write a poem, uh, sing while you take a shower, I mean, you know, it, it's really up to you, right? I mean, you can take it wherever you want, but um, the point is just to let it out. Just, just say what you have to say. Um, you know, sometimes people, especially for the, for the, for those that are um, deficient in the throat chakra, you know, this exercise is excellent because it just lets you get it out. You know, because if you're having trouble saying it, 
what you want to do is you want to try to practice saying it, you know, and um, so again, just let it out whichever way it comes. If it comes through movement, if it comes through dance, then so be it. If it comes through singing, if it comes through writing, if it comes through poems, if it comes through painting, I mean, you know, again, I mean, it can be taken so many ways, right? Um, and so that's definitely something to, to work with when, when we're talking about the, the throat chakra. We really want to connect with our creative side and allow that expression to come forth. Now, um, another thing about sort of unleashing your inner forces um, that goes kind of hand in hand with this and the creativity is, is that idea of speaking your truth. And so I, I briefly talked about it yesterday. And uh, I was saying that, uh, you know, speaking your truth is really what the throat is there for, the, the throat chakra. I mean, the throat too, <laughs> you know, but, um, and that's because we find our truth in our heart, right? That's the, the heart is really the chakra where, where we're starting to reflect, uh, you know, um, inwards and really look at, okay, what am I here for? What am I doing? Um, you know, what's my purpose? How do I want to help? How do I want to be in service? Uh, what am I doing here, right? Like that's the whole idea of the, of the heart. We want to find our purpose and, and express that purpose with compassion and with love. And, and the throat is an ally to that. The throat wants to help express, um, you know, that passion and, and all the discoveries that you've been doing through all of the, uh, the four elements in the lower chakras want to be expressed through the throat, uh, through the throat chakra. And so w what that means sometimes is that, you know, um, for the throat to really be effective and to have something to say, um, you know, the work in the other chakras also has to be done. So, um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we have the passion from, you know, the sacral chakra, that uh, uh, we do have the willpower to, to, to have our right to take action, uh, you know, from the, the, the solar plexus center. We want to make sure that we've done the work in our heart to really figure out who we are and where do we want to go and, and what's our purpose here and how do we want to help and be of service. And, you know, again, um, these are all things that, you know, we need. Uh, and, and I'm talking about the lower ones because the lower ones are the ones that we've gone through. But the same applies for the higher ones. So if we're talking about the, the third eye and the crown, it's the same thing. We get input from the top chakras down and we get input from the lower chakras up, right? And so we get input from the mind coming down to the throat and we get input from um, our feelings, which come from the heart, up to the throat. So we're getting a, a nice interplay there uh, in between our thoughts and our feelings right at the throat center in order for us to express how we think, how we feel, and, and you know, through that, of course, sometimes how we want to act. Um, so it's all about this, this interplay between the mind and then the personal feelings that we have and, uh, and, and expressing that. Um, now, I want to read a little something here, um, since we're talking about, um, about truth. Let me just get that to you. It's a little lengthy, so bear with me, but I thought it was very well worth it. So it says, um, where it is functioning at its highest level, the throat chakra should be bringing out our own truth into the world. Truth is not just a matter of correct information. Neither does, does truth carry any moral weight, though it can be experienced as good or bad, comfortable or uncomfortable, depending on how it interacts with each person's beliefs about what is real. Each of us will dismiss as untrue those things that do not fall within our personal construction of how the universe works. Speaking from a level of personal truth means that whatever is said carries the conviction of our whole being, sometimes referred to as will. Personal will or truth rarely emerges, however, because we are all constrained by the values and concepts we have been taught uh, by others. And so, um, the message here is that, you know, and, and I've been saying this before too, that societal values and um, you know the things that we that are imprinted upon us as children, as we grow up in school, uh, our workplace, in partnerships, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, sometimes makes it such that finding our truth is really hard. And, and we address that a lot in the in the heart chakra series, um, you know, and, and we did the meditation there. 
So um, the idea here is that the throat chakra is, is really an ally. It really helps to bring that out and to express it. And sometimes we can work through the throat to really balance our heart, right? So it's sometimes it's just by, by putting things out there, by just writing constantly, journaling, for example, that we just get it all out and then it starts to make sense, right? So it's, it's an expression of what you have inside of you in the heart that comes out through the, the expressive creativity of the throat, even though you're not speaking but you're writing. And again, the input from the mind, which comes from the other two chakras that we're going to be addressing um, soon, uh, you know, so all of this can actually help sometimes to find our truth, you know. So, um, just, just going to leave you with that. And um, another thing, hand in hand with the truth, is that, um, you know, yesterday we addressed that sometimes people lie, and lying is a huge block to the throat chakra, uh, because it's not, one, it's not in resonance with with truth, it's not it's not in resonance with who you are, with with what's really inside. You're saying something else than what really is, and it's also um, you know what ends up happening is that um, physiologically we get so many um, activations at the level of the uh, you know the sympathetic nervous system, like the the stress hormones kick in because we feel uncomfortable typically when we're lying, and it shows a lot, and so. Even though we're not communicating um, verbally that we're lying, uh, you know, physically people can see that right away. And so the other person is going to feel intuitively, um, you know, this idea of mm, something feels weird, something's not right. And so there's, there's doubt, there's fear, there's this feeling of uncertainty and, and in between the two, when we're talking about communication, um, this can create a lot of blockage to the throat chakra. So again, speaking your, your highest purpose, uh, voicing out uh, you know what, what has been discovered through the journey of the other four chakras uh, is really one way to, um, um, to express the, the throat properly and to, to balance the throat chakra. Uh, one other thing I'll mention before I go to the crystals is that um, uh, addressing the excessive side of things when we were talking about, uh, you know, people that just talk and talk and talk and talk and they just can't stop and you don't know what to do, you know. Um, for, for individuals that have a tendency to do that, you know, when you feel that need for your mouth to go on and on and on and on, you know, the, the, the idea would be just to step back and sit for a second and really think, what does my message have to say? What am I really wanting to communicate? You know, or what am I not communicating by talking, 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 talking? So the idea is, am I just talking nonsense, nonstop, because I'm avoiding wanting to speak my truth? Or am I talking too much because, you know, my truth tends to get lost in all of that, but I know somehow I need to get it out, and that's the only way I know how to get it out, right? So just, just sit a little bit and think about, you know, how does that express itself? What, what, what is the right question to be asking yourself? And uh, for me, like I said, it's really just about if I, if I sometimes feel I'm talking too much, and it does happen, <laughs> it does happen. I, I swing back and forth a lot with the throat chakra in between, um, Sometimes I'm way too deficient and sometimes I'm way too excessive. Uh, and sometimes both. It, it, that can happen too. Um, and so, you know, what ends up happening is when I start to get into that, I have to stop and just say, okay, what am I saying? You know, what's my message really? The, to the very, very core, what am I trying to communicate here? And is there any way that I can communicate it in a clearer fashion? Um, and that, that tends to help a lot right away. It's like, oh, okay, I'm kind of out there and I need to, you know, really focus. And right away, if you focus inwardly, again, towards the heart, it really, really helps to narrow in on that. So um, that's been my experience there. I'll show you a few crystals because um, uh, I got lots and I have this new piece that I just adore. I got this um, uh, just the other day. Uh, I'm so excited about this. It's a, it's a piece of blue kyanite. I hope you guys can see it well. I put some pictures on my uh, on my Facebook um, page. You can definitely go there and check it out. Um, it's here. I'll just try to bring it closer. Maybe you guys can see better. 
Okay, so blue kyanite is absolutely great for the throat. It's great for so many things. It's a very protective stone. Um, it helps with uh, with communication. It's a cleansing stone too, and so uh, not only will it help, uh, first of all, just clearing out anything that it absorbs, it also helps clear out the crystals that are with it. But when we're specifically talking about the throat chakra, it really helps to clear out all the stuff that is not true. Um, so again, if you're if you have that tendency to talk and talk and talk and you know maybe 30% is, is truth and then 70% is fluff <laughs> you know um, you might want to keep bl uh, blue kyanite there because it just helps you clear out um, what's not needed you know what's not um, uh, what's not really fulfilling the purpose of that communication um, so I find it a very very good stone for that uh, it definitely brings clarity in it's very protective in that sense um, it's one of my favorites, um, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have lapis, lapis lazuli. You can see that over here. I hope you guys can see it anyway. Uh, so this is dark. It has, um, it's a very dark blue color, and it has some pyrite in it, a little bit of gold. And uh, this is perfect if you, if you're kind of scared to to communicate, and you're really, um, you need that willpower to just say things, you know. Um, I find that because the pyrite is there, remember pyrite was the crystal for the solar plexus, right? One of the crystals that you can use for the solar plexus to give you that manliness and that, that masculine force and power and that sun uh, element, right, of, of radiance and, and stepping up and, and speaking up has to do with, with you, you know, taking that action. Um, so I think this is absolutely perfect for that. Uh, other ones that are a little bit gentler are... Um, Oh God, I always forget the name of this one. <laughs> Let me show it to you first. It's um, it's a blue lace agate, and so it's a it's a it's a much lighter color. It's a kind of a a light light blue, and it has um, little bits of white in it. Although you can't see this one very very well. Uh, and blue lace agate is very very good for the throat again, but a very gentle stone. It really works with you in a gentle manner. Um, you know, so th it, its energies are very peaceful and calming and soothing. So, if you you know if you're one of those people that get really anxious when they have to talk and you're just like oh my god oh my god oh my god you know like take this and and it's just right away it's like oh okay I can do this you know. Um, that's kind of the feeling I get when uh, when I uh, when I use this um, this crystal. Other ones that you can use would be uh, Angelite, which is this little guy over here. Also blue, um, very good for connecting uh, not just the throat chakra, but also the higher higher realms um, in terms of the other chakras and connecting to the divine. We have blue appetite right here. It's a very dark, dark blue. Uh, this can even be used for the um, for the third eye because the third eye is more indigo slash purple. And uh, other ones would be blue quartz that we have over here, and also, this one's kind of cool, uh, peacock ore. It comes in very different colors. This one's typically, um, uh, well, typically this one in particular is blue and, and purple, um, but there's, uh, there's definitely, it comes in a variety of colors, like it could be more pink, it could be more golden, uh, but this particular one has more of the purple, blue, hues and so I'll list these on my blog like I like I usually do and uh, what I'm going to do is I will put a meditation up but I want it to do it separately I feel like I really need to take the time and walk you guys through it and, and I too have to go through it so I was really getting the feel that I don't want to rush through it so um, I'll leave you with this for now and um, I'll just film the meditation separately and upload that uh, very shortly. So again, thank you for tuning in, guys. Tomorrow we start with the third eye. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. So um, I'll, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. And again, stay tuned. The meditation is coming. It won't be very long. Thank you, guys.